In this video, we take a look at 10 underappreciated watches enthusiasts should know. But first, I have a big announcement. So let me get dressed for the occasion. There we go, now I look like a proper watch reviewer. Today is the launch of the official top tier ticker store, where I've personally curated the very best underappreciated and underrated secondhand watches. Now all of the watches featured in today's video are actually for sale over on the website today. Prices are very competitive and of course, I personally make sure that every single watch is 100% genuine. So if you like anything that you see in today's video, go and check out the website that's linked in the description. Now, let's get started. Let's kick off today's list with a bang. Let me introduce you to the Hamilton Khaki Navy. This is a stunning sports watch with an incredible level of detail and quality. Of all of the watches featured on today's list, this one is probably my favourite. This watch comes in with the comfiest wearing experience that I've had on a dive style watch. This is down to the 37mm case and 45mm lug to lug, meaning the watch still has plenty of wrist presence but wears like a smaller watch. The Tudor Black Bay 54 that was released recently has a ton of hype online. That's because it feels like it's the first time a big brand has released a 37mm dive watch in such a long time. However, this Hamilton has flown under the radar for a few years now and is massively underappreciated. The colour combination of the different greys is breathtaking. The navy has such a premium, understated look to it that just screams sophistication. The level of detail with the applied markers and the sunburst style is incomparable. It's fair to say that this stunning little Hamilton sports watch has stolen my heart. Okay, next up, up, let's take a look at a stunning vintage inspired GMT watch that has 200 meters of water resistance. This is the Gakota Sea Hunter GMT. Gakota is a British watch brand that was founded in 2012. One, however, that massively flies under the radar but is offering ridiculous value for money in the affordable watch world. This particular model is a great example of that. This is a vintage inspired timepiece that has diving capabilities. One of the most impressive parts of this watch for me is the highly domed sapphire crystal, which has anti reflective coatings on the underside, meaning that even in bright light situations, you get to see the stunning dial. We of course have four hands to fulfill the GMT functionality, of which the bi-directional 60 click bezel allows us to track the time. The brushed finishing on the bezel is done to an astonishing standard. In fact, the whole case is brushed and somehow looks tooltastic whilst looking classy too. And if you'd like the look of the Patek Nautilus, then this Gakota has the hooded side case that you can see on that iconic piece, which makes this watch really feel like a proper sports watch. With all of the hype of the Seiko 5 GMT, this Gakota offering beats it in specs and in my opinion, looks way better too. Now if you like a digital Casio, this next one's definitely for you. This is the Casio Vintage A17WEMB. This watch ditches the traditional squarer case and instead opts for a super sporty circular construction. And just like the previous watch mentioned on today's list, the crown guards on each button give this super budget Casio offering a Patek Nautilus look. Even though this Casio is technically under the vintage range, I personally think this is one of the most modern looking Casios in recent years. The black display keeps the watch looking minimal, which is a stray away from their usual cluttered displays we see with digital Casios. As usual though, we have a resin case, finished to look like stainless steel, but we do get a stainless steel black PVD coated mesh bracelet that is slender and very comfortable. This piece is super lightweight and the wearing experience is a pleasure. Pleasingly, we still get all of the digital Casio goodness with an alarm and a stopwatch function too. I personally think a negative display on this model would have completed the look, but it looks super stylish nonetheless. This is without question an underappreciated Casio watch that deserves a look and a bit more attention. Next up, let's take a look at a blacked out Flieger watch with great specifications. This is the Islander ISL81, and if you didn't already know, Islander is a brand started and owned by Mark over at Long Island Watch YouTube channel. Mark started Islander as an answer to Seiko discontinuing the original Seiko SKX. He first made a range of homage watches to the SKX with better specifications than the original. However, since his first release, Mark has expanded his catalogue to a range of different watches and styles. This Flieger Type B dial is just one of his many great watches. If you like a watch that has all of the best specs and doesn't cost a lot, this one's for you. This Islander has a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, a Seiko automatic movement, a screw down crown and case back with 100 meters water resistance, 
and a DLC black painted case. DLC coating is much harder than the typical PVD that we see other watch companies use, meaning that the coating will last a lot longer and avoid chips and scratches much better. I also appreciate how Mark didn't put any branding or text on the dial, meaning that this Flieger watch is made true to the originals made back in World War II. Coming up next, we have a classic G-Shock square with a blingy twist. This is the G-Shock DW5600 BBMB. This is your classic square cased shock resistant piece with a stunning gold display. Now I picked this watch up for my personal collection as I wanted something that looks more modern than the typical DW5600. The gold accents certainly breathe a freshness into the watch that makes it look more contemporary and youthful. However, you still get all of that G-Shock goodness with the 200 meters water resistance, great functionality and a G-Shock case that works on smaller wrists. The only reason I'm letting this one go is because I recently picked up a Casio. The gold display plays with the light depending on the situation. Outside the thing glows like a new polished piece of solid gold. However, when it's inside in the darkness, it has much more of a subdued sheen to it. I think that this Casio does a good job of modernizing the square range. A lineup of watches that has been largely unchanged since its original release back in the 80s. It's fair to say though, if you enjoy something that's a bit different, then this G-Shock Square should be on your radar. Okay, so next up we have a field watch that's actually featured quite a few times on the channel so far. This watch is made of full titanium and is super lightweight. The Loris Titanium Field Watch, in my opinion, is a benchmark of affordable field watches. Loris absolutely perfected this super slim design by adding a titanium case, meaning that this is one of the lightest field watches you'll find around. The specifications you get on this watch are just perfect, featuring a Seiko Quartz movement, Lumi Bright Loom in the handset, 100 meters of water resistance, and of course, the titanium construction. It's rare to find a titanium watch around this price point. Most cost way upwards of $100. And if you have a smaller wrist, this watch is the perfect companion. Thanks to the quartz movement, the watch is only seven millimeters thick, meaning that you can pair it with almost any NATO strap and the watch will still be very thin on the wrist. Of all of the watches I've previously owned, this Laura's Field was definitely one of the most comfortable. You see the likes of Hamilton and Seiko get praise all of the time for their field watches. And they're great, don't get me wrong. But I personally think that the Loris Titanium Field is an underappreciated piece that deserves to be in more watch collections. Moving on, let me show you a watch that's like nothing else on the planet pun intended. This is the Sega Design Blue Planet, an award-winning wristwatch like nothing else you'll see. The Blue Planet is an artistic expression, created to celebrate preserving the planet. The center of the watch is a spinning globe, which uses its compass-style marker to display the time. This automatic movement rotates the globe 390 degrees every hour instead of the typical 360. This is so that the singular marker on the globe can display the correct hour and minute. The amount of detail on the planet Earth centerpiece is wonderful. Each curve curve, dip and summit of the mountains, the deep blue of the ocean. It's an absolute pleasure to look at. Covering the dial is a highly domed sapphire crystal, making it feel like you're peering into a little world on the wrist. This watch won a design award back in 2021. In fact, it was the first ever Chinese watch to win the prestigious GPHD Challenge Prize. If you're looking for something different, an artistic wristwatch, then the Sega Blue Planet is a watch that should be on your radar. Watches like this from Switzerland cost thousands of dollars. However, Sega offers such a beautiful innovation for less than 1,000. Now, if you are a fan of Casios, but you don't like the plastic construction, check this next one out. This is the Casio A1000MB1BEF. And what more affordable Casios lack, this Casio fulfills. This is one of the only full steel digital Casio watches you can buy. Indeed, the case is made of stainless steel. In this instance, covered in a black PVD finish, giving this ticker an all black look. This is made even better by the negative negative display, which allows the dial to be monochrome. Note, the negative displays on these Casios can be hard to see in bright light and side angles. This particular model features a rose gold outline around the display and rose gold accents with the buttons on the case, which makes the watch look incredibly classy. It's also pleasing to see an applied Casio logo, which catches the light and glimmers in the sun. We also have a mineral crystal covering the display instead of the usual acrylic, meaning that in theory, this Casio should last much longer than the more affordable 
affordable resin options. The A1000 also comes on a great steel black mesh strap, a step above in quality than the one featured earlier with the Casio Vintage. Overall, the Casio A1000 just feels much higher quality than the cheaper options, slightly higher in weight, but so much more detail. Next up, a watch that nowadays seems forgotten about in the online watch community, from the old school Seiko 5 range. This is the Seiko 5 SNKL 23, and just a few years ago, this watch had as much hype as the Tissot PRX. The reason this watch blew up online was for one reason, the level of detail and quality for the price Seiko was charging was astronomically good. This statement still holds true to this day, as since this watch was released, Seiko completely reimagined the 5 range, increasing price and in my opinion, lowering quality too. The old school Seiko 5 offers so much for so little. It features a frame date window at the 3 o'clock, different types of finishing throughout the case, stunning dolphine hands and a beautiful vertically striped outer dial, meaning that even under magnification, this affordable watch looks the business. Now these old school Seiko 5 models are starting to dry up. It's becoming more and more difficult to find them for a reasonable price. However, as of the time of recording, they can still be found for under $150. This stage of Seiko is really a time gone by. This is the level of quality that you could expect from Seiko for less than $100. So if you like a watch that looks the bee's knees, check out the Seiko 5 SNKL 23. Last but certainly not least, let's head over to Germany for what they do best. This is the Laco Augsburg, a watch from Germany that does what Germany does better than anybody else, a proper pilot's watch. Laco was one of the original watch brands creating watches for the Luftwaffe back in World War II, so it holds the same privilege and respect to this design as the likes of IWC and Stover. The Augsburg is from Laco's basic range, meaning that this is their most affordable pilot watch option. However, don't think for a second that you have to sacrifice in terms of quality. These tickers feature a sapphire crystal, Myota automatic movements and immaculate dial printing. It is rather impressive what Laco can do with just a few hundred dollars, being a smaller watch company that struggled throughout the quartz crisis and the early 2000s. They really have, in recent years, managed to rebuild the Laco name and create some true to original watches that enthusiasts love. You also get that great made in Germany stamp at the bottom of the dial, which is always nice to have in a watch collection. For me, if you want a pilot's watch, then a brand like Laco is the way to go, creating very underappreciated watches that have a ton of history and are well worth the money. Okay, so I've got a discount code for the website for everybody who's managed to watch this video till the end. If you use the code FIRST3 at checkout, you will get a discount count on your order. This code can only be used three times by my first three customers. So if you see anything you like, be quick. If you liked this video and want some more juicy watch content, be sure to watch my video here on screen on 10 British watch brands that you should know.